Jonathan's viral <laughs> interview where he said he had no idea who you were and the internet went insane. How in the hell did you pull Simone Biles? <laughs> How did you do that, bro? Man, it's really, really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh. So you was really the catch in... I always say we the men are cats, man. I always say we the cats, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you said. What was your reaction? I was sitting on the chair. You just couldn't see me on the video. I just thought that was funny because and I thought that was cute that he thought he was good at everything. And then I go on Twitter and everybody's like, divorce this man. He's mean. And I'm like, he's the sweetest. And he never said I wasn't a catch. He said he was a catch. Because he is, I've never met a man like him. A lot of people that meet him are like, oh my gosh, like I want a man like that. This particular story, I think I might have heard about in passing, but then when I was just doing some things on the computer, actually I was checking my email, and then on the front page of Yahoo, I saw this story about Simone Biles and her clapping back at her critics about her and her husband, probably mainly about her husband. Now, for those of you who were unaware, last year, well, y'all heard it in the audio clip, there was an interview that was conducted with her husband, whose name is Jonathan Owens, and he's an NFL football player. Um, I believe he used to, I don't know if he still plays for the Texans or not, but I know when he got drafted, he did play for the Texans, but I think he's somewhere else now. He had basically did an interview, and it went viral because he said something to the effect of him being the prize in the relationship and of course the bull karens let's just be honest here it was mainly them that got upset by that because they was like how dare you come out of your mouth and say that you're the prize when this woman who was a highly decorated gymnast world renowned and all of that other good stuff how are you going to sit up there and tell us that you're the prize when nobody knows who you are and it's like they broke down why he said what he said but all they heard was Oh, he's the prize and this, that, and third, and they took it and they ran with it. And I'm willing to bet many of them are not even uh, the prize in their relationship, if they are in a relationship at all. Well, fast forward to now recently, as in today, uh, Simone basically put out there like she is sick of these individuals trying to come for her and her husband's marriage. And there's a reason why I chose this picture right here to keep up here because I remember when they got married and this was the this was like the private ceremony that they had before they had the big wedding. They were criticizing her hair. Like they were making fun of her said like, "Girl, you got all this money, why do you have your hair and your ponytail like that and why does your ponytail look kind of messy? Like why does it look like you about to go do some flips and cartwheels and whatever it is on the mat rather, rather than go out and get married?" And I'm sitting here like the one like y'all couldn't even say congratulations to this woman for getting married. Y'all so worried about her appearance, which isn't even bad. Now, this was just like a private ceremony right here. It was just her and her husband and maybe a couple of other people before they actually had the big ceremony, which was like a week or two later in somewhere in the Caribbean, which, of course, was more massive. But I didn't really hear them say anything about that. But they couldn't stop talking about this. But I'm not surprised when it came to the hair thing, because remember what they said about Gabby Douglas and her hair when she was competing back in 2012 in the Olympics. It's just the weirdest paradigm, but fine, whatever. But they kept criti they criticized her about this. And that's why I chose this picture right here, because I'll never forget how they how badly they came after her for this right here. And now they bringing up the whole thing again about what her husband said. In that interview that was back in what December and they made that a big deal they made a big deal out of nothing I remember when that went viral and they had it literally play out for way longer than it needed to and I think what pisses me off the most about this is because this woman right now should only be focusing on one thing and that is going out to Paris this summer and racking up on more gold medals because to my knowledge I think this is her last go around I think I know why she wants to retire from gymnastics after this because I truly believe she wants to start a family which is nothing wrong with that 
she knows as long as she's attached to the sport, she's not going to be able to do that. So she says, let me go and get my last hurrah. And that way, after I'm done with this, I can go ahead and really, truly settle down with her husband and start having some children, especially since they're at the age, you know, she's, you know, she's young, she's not even 30. So this is the perfect time for her to actually do that. And she put a post up to let people know how she felt about people criticizing, quote unquote, her marriage and she did not hold back so this is the post right here that she made and I think she put it up on her Instagram page she says I'm gonna quickly address this the joke was never a joke y'all are blatantly being disrespect disrespectful to my relationship and my husband so I'm gonna go ahead and say this one time respectfully fuck off and if you keep commenting or tweeting at me so this is on X I'm just going to block you, simple as that. And no, I don't need to touch grass or whatever the fuck y'all suggest. At everyone else that supports us, we love y'all so much. And truthfully and honestly, that is all that needs to be said from her. That's that's really all that needs to be said. I'm actually glad that she said it because that enough is enough. Like really, y'all carrying this thing from December all the way to now. Again, the only thing this woman should be worrying about is going out and continuing to win like her life depended on it the rest of them can't even measure up in multiple departments whether it's in a relationship department or even in the talent department where she's clearly got both of them on lock i even read a comment somewhere where someone has said that they were referring to her husband as mr simone biles how disrespectful as if like to say that to a grown a grown man who is married to this woman who took his name and you got the nerve to call him Mr. Simone Biles? Like, that's absolutely insane. And it's crazy because both of them look like some of the nicest, coolest people you would ever meet. Like, they would probably be some of the coolest people to hang out with. And I don't like that she's being taken out of her, she's getting out of her character because of what other people are doing. It's almost like they're gaslighting her. Like, I really don't like. Like, I really don't like seeing that. I really don't. Again, because it throws her off balance and she doesn't need to deal with that. So, like she says, this is the last time. So, hopefully, this is the last time she has to address it. Of course, people, at the end of the day, are still going to talk their shit because that's just, I chalk that up to human error. That's just how people are. All she needs to do is just, just stay focused, laser focused. The gymnastics, not the gymnastics, the Olympics is coming up in about two and a half months. That's really all she needs to be focused on right now. And then when she's done with that, then she can focus on that family because I have the strongest feeling again. The, the reason why she's stepping down after this, this cycle is because she wants to start a family. That's really what I wouldn't be surprised if after this we hear news somewhere down the line that says Simone Biles is pregnant. That'll further confirm my assumption. But to all those people out there, they listen, they just a bunch of haters. At the end of the day, that's, to me, what it boils down to. Those people are hating. They are unhappy with themselves. They are miserable. And you know what they say about misery. Misery love company. And there's a lot of people out there, unfortunately, who are under the name of misery.